Good morning everyone and welcome back to the Two-Headed Wolf Gaming Channel as we are continuing our campaign through Victoria Free playing as a Japanese Shogunate and I have to say it's not really morning, for me it's evening. I really wanted to get back into the game and continue with this. I, I wanted to create a Japanese empire before I, I take a good break. There have been about two updates up to this point within the Victoria Free, so there might be problems coming up. I am not sure. I have no idea whether that will be true or not. But there's a good chance here that there will be some problems. We will see. If that is the case, I don't know, we're just gonna push it as far as we can. Let's see, what's happening here? Well, the port is doing decently. Shipyard right here, they're pulling a profit in, we have enough wood, we have enough fabrics as well, the price is decent. The price of clippers are not great, I mean they're not really getting a lot done here. We could be making a few more clippers using hardwood and engines instead. But I, at this point I really, really feel like we should be going probably in a different, on a different path or try to expand some of these ports for more convoys, maybe even in Kyoto. We can do a level 5 port, which wouldn't necessarily be bad. Prejudice employers. Now let's take a penalty to... I mean, I said we would take the penalty, but it doesn't seem like it shows up. Yeah, so I'm starting to think... I was just looking around and I'm starting to think that there might be some problems coming up. Expensive government goods in the Russian market, okay, a news construction production. We're getting some money, of course, by not using goods. But we could do a few things. Let me expand. Silk pla plantations are losing cash. No, they're stagnant. Yeah, I really feel like there's something wrong here. We'll see. So there's an escalation now between Russia and Radical Finland. Sure, we're gonna go and support Russia in this. Yeah, some missing goods, some die. Thus, let's see. Buildings, we are going to go for rural and we're gonna take a look at the dye plantations. Let's go up in production, seems like there's a lot we could add up to. We're making good money right now. If I take a look at some of these. Electrical, like we can start adding electric stuff. The price of fine art has gone up. We could start using dynamite, which would increase our production or our cash by a bit or production by a bit. It's not that much to where I definitely need more demand before we start using dynamite. If I take a look Add fertilizers, chemical plants here. Now I could making oh, I could be making a lot of money if I go this route because I am reducing the production of explosives, and thus it would skyrocket the price. 
We would be using less sulfur to do this. Let's try. Let's see what we can make out of this market. Not sure that is good because that means we're also playing a lot of paying a lot of um, cash for it as well. I think we're using it on one of our markets. But yeah, we're starting to make good money. Iron mines. Okay. There's a high price, once again, there's a high price for transportation. And why? Russia is not a significant producer of transportation. Okay. Improved fertilizers have been unlocked. So if we're taking a look here. We could go on this route, but it wouldn't necessarily help. Goods consume iron. Has iron all of a sudden gone up? Productivity is zero. Like, why is it zero? Seems like... Our goods have tanked while the prices of tools and a few other things have. Okay. Is this because we tanked the business here? I don't think that is the case, right? So if I go back to this. No. We have zero access to the market. And I'm not sure why. Let's see. In the Sea of Japan. I do not see any kind of general. Let's try to bring in an admiral. Maybe that is a problem, right? I can bring now someone from the shogunate. Let's see. Supply consumption minus 25%. That sounds pretty good to me. Experience convoy raiding. Let's do this one. So we brought a new general here. And he will be what? Patrolling the coast? Sure. Does this improve our situation in any way? No. The price of clippers have gone up again. Is this the problem we're having? Is the problem we're having with clippers because they're not producing this right or the prices of getting goods are high and the prices of clippers is low the ports I mean the ports should be working it seems like we are having enough goods um, they serve their purpose yeah, I really don't know exactly what's happening here. What should we be doing? 10% extra prestige for organized sport, 3 to 5 months. But let me do something else. So, I'll be going to this kind of... State actions, yes. And we'll encourage industry getting more out of logging. We're going to use all the authority that we have here. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what's happening here. But there's definitely something wrong. I mean, it happened last time as well, where we all of a sudden start to lose access to the market. We have enough infrastructure here, so there's nothing about this. And all of, you can see it's like we are blockaded or something and we do not have access to the Russian market in any way. And what do we have here? So it says that we have problem with accessing the market. Our, there's a railway here, there's a port capped at a maximum of 60 from the 
pops. Okay, but even that is good. There's turmoil. Japanese convoys. Zero convoys used by the Japanese supply network out of 1700 available. So we have enough steamers, but we're not using anything. 50% contribution from Japanese shogunate customs union. But there is a 100% efficiency here. So yeah, I'm not sure exactly what to say about all this. If I go even further with the convoys, let's make a few levels, three more levels in the porting business. Price of lead has gone down, price of fine art has gone down a lot, and the price of artillery has moved. Now we once again have access to the market. Yeah. We'll see. If I if this doesn't work, I'll think of a solution. Maybe we'll I'll start again and I'll come up to this level and then we continue from something that is fairly similar. Construction sector max level infrastructure from population and maximum infrastructure from population. I mean this could work. Three years for it. More minting and loan interest, more authority. Let's do the steel frame buildings here. Yeah, I mean, there's no real point here of why certain things are happening. But let's see, let's focus on what works and we'll see what we are doing afterwards yeah with you i'm gonna go back just trying to make some good money i don't know if this is bugged or not it seems like as soon as i activated that we are at zero again Market, trade routes. We'll stop this one. The textile mills in Kansas. Yeah, sure, we're gonna go forward here with production. Shall I just start bankrolling? Let's see. And the customs union. Relations between Russia and the Japanese shogunate are amicable and ongoing efforts to improve relations are at 9%, okay, will resort to mutual relation changing. Custom union progress from Russia each day towards increasing relation to a maximum of 80%. If we break this, they will deteriorate by 30. Let's just end it. This might be chaotic for us, but let's see if this works. Okay, so all of a sudden I left that. We have too much service. The Japanese market we have 100% access to, so let's see what's going to happen within our very own market. Okay, we're producing too many services to begin with. Okay, the motor industry is starting to get some money. I feel like people are starting to get hired. Let's take a look at export routes. What do we have the most of? So services grain let's 
Let's look at the prices. Yeah, we already do not have some of these. Shall we let the market stabilize here for a second? Maybe we'll let the market stabilize first. I will try to improve relations, yeah, with Russia. Okay, from this to this, it might be better to go one route or the other. Let's see. Okay, I feel almost stabilized here. We have a good shortage of hardwood within our market. Let's take a look. Where is rural? Logging camps is what we're looking for. And we'll say to you that in somewhere here. If I do this, it should improve the price of hardwood. Then we have sulfur. For the sulfur right now. Probably better to build a new building, right? Sulfur mines? We have two levels there. We can make a bit two more here. Maybe even here. It feels like we're getting bankrupt. Market. We have a lot of iron and we have a lot of sulfur. Oh no, we no, we have a demand for sulfur and we have a huge demand for iron as well. Well, let's take a look at iron. If I decide to go with either nitroglycerin or dynamite, dynamite is more expensive, but it produces more and reduces mortality. So let's go with that. I guess even here we could do the same, right? Yeah, would reduce the price of sulfur without us having to build anything. Okay, well, let's stop then the construction of sulfurs. If I go down in construction here, we'll be making even more money by using... We'll have less power. But let's do that. Let's go down. We definitely feel the fact that we left the market. But for whatever reason that shortage was happening, the lack of access to the market. I feel like this situation is much better for us. And now we could go up here. This will be bad for this business because, of course, the price of it is high. But yeah, let's go like this for now. Improve fertilizers. In the rural building, if I go with fertilizers, definitely will be a huge impact there. Yeah, the price of grain is already high, so we don't want to go too high. Let's see. Can I now export? Let's go with export and we'll pick grain because we're using it. That is not a lot. Let's take a look at what do we have a huge supply of services. So service and grain, I guess. 
Does anybody the buy services or the, is that something in the interior? I guess we have to be part of a market to sell the services. Which makes me think that if I look in the urban section and we go here. If we go back down, apparently the service need is too high. Shikoku, if I go down the service... There will be some people left without jobs. Hmm. Maybe we'll just leave things as they are here. Okay, let's see. What is the demand though? More cloth, more wood. Things might stabilize a bit more with logging camps. Let's see. Do they have the everything they need? Yes. If I take a look at the engines. Yeah, they're still hiring people. And there's a very low price for the engines, apparently. Well, isn't transportation something that is very useful? Apparently not. Why? The prices, these prices are okay. Hmm. Let's see, are we using trains everywhere? We are. Okay, if I go to development and I say wooden carriages, if I would go with wooden carriages, the price of transportation would go down and the price of wood consumed would go up. We would lose some infrastructure, but for all of a sudden we would be getting a lot of cash. If we go government run here, we would employ bureaucrats instead of capitalists. If we stop subsidizing them. Apparently they're still pulling sort of a profit. I guess it would be important to subsidize them whenever the case might be. Do we want to expand them? Like, if we were to do this, apparently not. Let's see if I can do, if I change all of this, is there a problem for a railway anywhere? Communist New South Wales started an import route of engines from the Japanese market. Okay. We need a bit more sulfur. If we were to export engines, okay, apparently there is a good market here in the British. Okay, people are buying from us. Yeah, the price of this market is definitely not the same. If we go cargo prioritization... Yeah, we would make be making less money, the price of transportation would go up. I still do not know how to properly... create... Like, how to properly go with this entire situation? What is the right way forward? Let's see, maybe we can create... Let's go up two levels in Sulfur. It's definitely a lot more difficult to do this on your own. Now I need a lot more Lumber. I have a huge demand for Lumber. It's mostly because of construction, right? And a lot more Fabric.
And that was not a problem within a group. Can I build electricity? Because I keep seeing that. Yeah, we can have a few power plants. They would consume engines, actually. So, where do you want to make? Let's make in Kansai, make in Chubu. I'm making a few territories, why not? One in each. Seems like a good idea. Can declare more interest. Oh, we've became 14th in the world with this situation. Can we embargo them? Yes, we could. If we were to declare some sort conquer state or something. Okay, Austria, the Great Qin, Russia and Great Britain would join. Heavenly Kingdom has a lot of troops. Has a lot more troops than the Great Qin here. Let's continue. Let's try again to ruin some diplomatic standing with Korea. How weird that we left the market and now we are the 14th in the world. Probably we have a lot of resources or something but we're still spending a lot of cash a lot on government wages weirdly enough and then there's the goods And if we can finally get ourselves enacted with this dedicated police force, maybe we can get to taxing by strata and not by anything else. Okay, where are we at with the textile mills? Apparently this one This one does the price of clothes is not that high for this level Let's go with a dye workshop Right we're producing less goods If we go with hands-on clothes, then we will not be using dyes in this situation producing less clothes. I think like this is the better idea, right? In order to make good cash. Because if we're just buying tools and fabric. Uh, let's take a look. For cotton plantation, we'll definitely need a bit more. I mean, even our cattle farms are producing something But we need more iron first. Let's see. Building over here. We'll say iron mines. Now let's pick two levels here and two levels in Hokkaido. Once again, we are on your own. Now let's take a look at the world. How are things going? Prussia is in a war with Russia. Scandinavia has been formed. Well, good for them. The Confederate States, like there's a lot of conflict going on here. Mexico is still strong. These guys have formed themselves into another nation. A lot of weirdness is happening all around the, all along the world. And we're getting now our first power plants.
and more people. Let's take a look at the journal. So there was... what? Now we have a new event here called the Expand, expand Power Plants. We need to research at least one of them, okay. Power Plants, Workforce Occupancy is 75%, Cash is greater than 25 and Building Level is greater than 5. Okay, so instead of building everywhere, I think that they're saying it's better to build it in one place. Okay, well, let's do that then. One, two, three, four, five. Right? Have one big power plant in Gansai. And we'll have this first building here. Really looking forward to the day when we're making money. At this point, we only have the intelligentsia in our government. We can bring back the shogunate, but they'd be in strong. Right? We have to make sure that they are not powerful. We're trying to get some strength from them. Yeah, and bringing in someone else doesn't seem like it's working too well for us. Bring the industrialist in. Or bring the Buddhist monks. I definitely need to bring someone else in the government as well. Well, let's see, we have our very first power plant, we do have our very first power plant. So we're starting to get some electricity from the engines. But we need to start making money, we need to start selling it. And we will go here to buildings. Let's see, I think the ranches would probably be the best one to begin with. Nope, it is not. Who else would require electricity? Only our towns? Urban area, go with electric street lights. We would consume a lot less coal. We would produce overproduce goods there. Public trams. Okay. Okay, we have some trade centers going on, good. Let's see, steamships, increase the price of clippers, we would produce more steamers there. Open hard process. Let's see our chemical plants. Apparently, the dynamite is not really doing well because of the price of sulfur. If we go this way, we would be making a lot of money by because the price of explosive is that high. Let's try it, but I'm guessing we're gonna lose money on the other side. Food industries. Okay, nothing to see here. Other than the electric fences, I do not see anything that would add up, but we're gonna try. Let's see, can do attitude. Soldiers are complaining that they have no way to open their canned food. Spend some money to develop a way. They'll figure it out. Yeah, they'll figure it out. Why not? 
Okay, price of electricity has started to go up. The price of manowars has started to go down. Let's take a look at the manowars. Can I sell it to anyone? Okay, it seems like there's quite a productive market in the British. Let's see, steel mills... Okay, they're starting to make money again. Because the price of iron has gone down. We need more taxation, we need a lot more wood and fabric. Secession movement possible here. Let's see, where are they at? What is this? So this is some random event on the world up here. Okay, we don't care for it. Come on, dedicated police force. Give me a good event. Embargo. Okay. If we were to go to construction and we would go back to iron frames, the price of tools would skyrocket, the price of iron would do the same. Wood would decrease in price and also fabric. But it's metals that is the most problematic of them all, right? Small arms prices have gone down, prices of wine apparently have gone slightly up. More construction level and all that, good. Now let's see, what else are we going to do? Electric sewing machines, sure. This is 13 to 12 months or 15 to 21 months. To get a few more uses for electricity, especially now that we are developing it. If I take a look at the market. We need a lot of wood, we need a lot of fabric, we need a lot of drinks, tools, dice, yeah, we've been missing, we're missing pretty much everything. You are 99 years of age. Do leaders die in this game? That is my question. We're not making progress right now because it seems like the Shogunate is still a powerful nation or a powerful faction. I'll bring back the industrialists within the government. Oh, city of plenty, let them celebrate or they will never, the party will never end. Let's have some of them become loyalists and increase their minimum requirements. Okay, let's reduce the political party of the bourgeoisie, have the industrialists be happy with us. I mean, at this point, I'm just waiting for our leader to pass away. I know it is crazy, but... The Shogunate is getting a lot of power and we're... It feels like we're on our way to implement this, but it's... We are so unlucky. Now let's take a look at things. For gold mines, if I start using explosives, it would raise the price of explosives, but we would get a bit more money out of it. 
for logging camps. Look at that. If we start using it, the price of electricity will go up and so will be the price of tools. But we will be getting 8k out of this just from the production. There's enough, a lot of wood needed. So we can do this. Fishing wharfs, we can go with steam engines. Yeah, if we want to produce steamers. That would increase our production as well. Let's also try to see if we can sell some oil or fine art. Fine art nobody wants to buy. If we go with oil, yeah, there's another New South Welsh and British markets. Let's try to sell it there. And let's take a look at our trade routes. This one with the manowars. Okay, tools. Okay, so New South Wales is importing tools from us and we can't do anything there to protect us except we can increase the tariffs on imports, right? Or no, not this one, this one. It has been revealed that this guy, the leader of the Buddhist monks, has been having a secret affair. Ignore it. Is this the right way? Am I thinking this right? Yes. So we can get more money out of it. Yeah, once again, we're not exporting that. We do not want to export that, but they're gonna buy it. Either way. And we wanna raise the price on those. Okay, so on the certain trades that other people do and we have no control over, we will have to protect ourselves. Let's see, they are hiring, there's a lot of tool makers here. Let's see, tool workshop. Probably not a good idea to go further with constructing iron mines. If we can improve on this. Yeah, we definitely need to make more tool makers instead. So where are we going to add them? Let's make them in Kansai as well. And two more in Chubu. Alright, and we're gonna do them before we make the iron mines. I understand right now that having a small nation, like it is Japan, and we have a lot of resources here, but... Let's see, where are these people? They're right here. We can try to incorporate them, it would take 10 years and a few other things. Sure. Let's in work on incorporating all of these. By decreasing the radicals of the target account in a county, okay? Seems to me like they have, they're okay overall, it's just that we are too far away from them. Right, there's a lot of turmoil, why? Because lack of migration attraction and some tax waste. And we're getting very little from law enforcement and local police force.
If I take a look at the population, I mean, they are okay. Overall, it doesn't seem like really they had a lot of problems. There's not a lot of transportation for these goods. Let's see, if I do this... What is this? Our country is in a state of civil war. Between whom and whom? Aristocrats revolt in Kanak. Okay. So it's right here. The Kanak aristocrats revolt. Mobilize all. Sure, let's mobilize some regions. Some of our armies. And what is this? Idle mobilize general. Let's advance front or something. Western Australia front. Are we like part of these? Have we gotten into some sort of weird war that I do not know about? And yeah. Okay. Well, well, let's advance on that front. Yeah, apparently we're going here to at least represent us, right? So they've somehow merged into what can be said it's a united front of independence. Okay, now we have electric capacitors. Society. More minting, 35 months and less interest loan, sure. Let's take a look at some of our industries here. Electric sewing machines, that would tank the price of clothes while increasing the price for tools and a few other things. Expand the power plants has been completed, good. Let's see, can we do at least on a few of them? No, because the price of tools and the price of dye would be too high. Let me take a look at the electricity here. So now we have the power plants in Kansai event where we can get more power, more progress towards steam turbine or go take more progress towards shift work. Let's see, what does shift work do? It's probably in production, right? For it's either in production or it is in the other one in society. Okay, do not see it here. Let's go in society. Let's take a look if we can see any kind of shift work. labor movement human rights and a few other things huh i have no idea where that is oh shift work here it is 22d economy of scale building gap 
Let's go with unlimited power, make it very cheap for now. And if I take a look at the business itself, am I making money? Well, yeah, electricity is cheap apparently. So we need to raise its price. Steel mills, okay, would require a lot more iron, definitely need to expand those. On rural, if I would want to use electricity... I already went with electric sawmills, okay. So that is a big plus there. Steam powered whalers we do not need. Let's see, development, this is with the armies. Electric trains, can I do that? Apparently electric trains is something that we would need, it would reduce transportation by a lot, but it would reduce the cost of coal, because we will not be using them, and increase electricity price of course and engine prices. <laughs> and just jump our infrastructure. Okay. What else was there? So let's take a look at technology and we're looking at electrical capacitors. So these were for textile mills and brine electrolysis for chemical plants. Okay, let's take a look at the brine one, the chemical plant here. If we go with brine, we would produce less fertilizers, a lot more dynamite increase the price of coal, electricity and sulfur. So if we just go with the one thing that we want to produce dynamites, let's see, this is one is with explosives and this one is with fertilizer. Fertilizer doesn't give us any good money. This one, no, it would just tank the price of explosives apparently. Okay, so at the end of the day, we can't do a whole lot with electricity. Maybe just make more basic loads. Okay, let's do this for now. And I can go automatic power looms. Or maybe we'll just stay here and we'll go automatic power looms instead. Where are we? Advanced front. Let's take a look at them. Okay. Micronesia, the industrials have started complaining. Sure, we should follow their advice there. Now there are no fronts. Apparently this is still going somewhere. Japan has support for the Kanak Aristocrats Revolution from the Melanesian... Okay. Yeah, I do not know exactly what's going on there, but we'll just work with it. See what's happening. We're making tools. Then we're gonna make some iron. And we're doing our own thing. Let's see, with the iron mines, we said that we're gonna build... Let's build two... Four more levels there. 
the price of sulfur should go down as well so let's continue expanding some of these mines lead could still work let's expand it in kyushu for logging camps for now i'm still using a lot of it fishing fishing is not as good finally we have a dedicated police force And let's take a look. Okay, the Shogunate is now under 19%. We got our legitimacy back because our ruler has died. I would like some messages for this. I know we're mostly taking a look at the country, but things have gotten really weird here, right? Minus 15 popularity because he's a hedonist and minus 10 political strength of the clergyman as a ruler. Okay, and he is a pacifist. Now, if I want to change... Instead of agrarianism, let's see. Yeah, we can't go laissez fair yet or interventionism. I would like to go like this. Just let the market be free. Mercantilism. Yeah, can't change it to anything else. Going for a no colonial affair seems like a thing to do. To stop using some of these. Yeah, let's stop going for colonial affairs just so we have enough actions going forward here. I mean, if I wanted to establish a colony, right? I can do it here. In New South Wales. But if I take a look at their diplomacy... Oh, if I take a look at their diplomacy, nothing is happening. So what if I was to establish a colony in these two territories? I don't know. It's a bit weird, but we're gonna do it. And let's say that we remove some of our interests. We'll remove it from here and we'll declare it... Ah, can't declare it south yet. And we're just gonna stay there for a second. What's this? We have interests that are going to disappear in our chat. Oh, we just uh, said that we are going to remove it. Yeah. With you. Okay, we're trying to annex Malaysia. I don't know. I'm keeping my troops up. I do not know exactly. Can't seem to be able to move anywhere. If I take my navy from here, military, navy, and I say to you, what, escort convoys? Naval invasion. Not at war with the Japanese shogun, neither of them are at war. Ah, let's do here. Yeah. So I needed to do a naval invasion there, from what I can tell, at this point. And they are preparing in a few days to do that. Do we want to stop this colonial, like removing the colonial affairs? Just as we are about to enact things you know what yeah let's wait a bit longer here let's take a look at something else as far as institutions go there's nothing there that i want hereditary bureaucrats is one of those things that i don't feel like it's important to keep it as it is opposing is just the shogunate this will radicalize them so maybe i'll not do it right now let's wait a second here Autocracy, I'll leave that. National supremacy. Multi having multiculturalism. Okay. Buddhist monks do not like it and they would radicalize for it. Minus 20 to go multicultural. Who knew? Total separation of church and state. At this point, the shogunate would just be unhappy, but it wouldn't... 
they will try to stop it. Let's try to once again go for appointed bureaucrats. Did that change anything? Like, did that change their power? No, they, it did not. We're losing so much money right now. Insufficient taxation. Ha Western Australia and Northern... Ah, uh, yeah. Because we've just started colonizing the area. Probably should start thinking about adding a port, right? Let's add the level of port there. We're gonna construct it. Russia has expanded out here. Okay. And we're gonna put another port here just to have access to the market. Maybe we'll take Uluru afterwards. Can support more declarations of interest. Apparently our cap is two. Do we already have an interest here? We can declare more on this side. Okay. For some re weird reason, apparently that's what we're doing. Promote national values. We're already working on that up there. Unhealthy economy. Oh, tell me about it. Okay. It feels like we have enough tools for the moment, right? I would like to make more just so we can increase some of our goods here. Textile meals. Prioritize non... They're not making money. Because right now the price of tools are okay. But the price of dye is too high. Okay. Well, we're going to replace this then. Let's make dyes. Dye plantations. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Expanding them like crazy. And we'll have two ports there. Credit what credit is due. Okay, well, the industrialists deserve all the credit. Okay, we're starting to expand here. Honorable restoration is still going up. But after this weird episode, this is all the time that we have for today. We have left the Russian market because I don't know if it was bugged out or there was something that I didn't get. And we have somewhat stabilized our market, our internal market, but there will be we will be needing a lot more things in order to to fully st stabilize it, maybe we'll create our very own market with some of the countries around. Speaking of which, what would I need to do that? Probably become a major power. Well, we're heading towards that. We need a total of 10 years to ha have this situation in order for us to progress. Okay, the war seems to be over. Let's go back to, I don't know, patrolling the coast or escort some goods here and there. But yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next episode as we are continuing our journey through this weird world of Victoria 3, trying to figure out the game. Until then, I wish you all to have a wonderful day.